this cute nail set I found on Instagram. I'll put the inspo picture up later in the video. I had press-ons on before this, so I'm just filing off the extra nail glue. Then I'm pushing back my cuticles and using my cuticle remover. to get rid of that extra dead skin and then I'll go in with my nail dehydrator and primer pop-off method which is just matte top coat and cuticle oil Thank you. 
If your nail tips don't come half matte like these do, then I would suggest filing the inside of the nail tips just so it has a good grip and there's no chance of it popping off. I'm going to use my Model 1's 4-in-1 nail glue and you want to apply your nails in a downward method from the cuticle to the tip of your nails. carbide drill bit and getting rid of the excess nail glue and before you do this step you want to make sure you pull your skin back so the glue isn't on your skin when you start filing and then you want to buff your nails to get rid of the shine and this is so the polish has no chance of peeling <music> acetone you don't have to do this step but if you want it extra secure then I would suggest you do it
all the products for today's video. I have some gold chrome rhinestone glue and the same thing I used to apply the gel X can also be used as blooming gel. My right reserve polish. My jelly blue born pretty polish. And I'm using the little gold balls out of my power charms. The born pretty and nail reserve products are always linked in the description. <music> When applying blooming gel, you want to make sure you put a very thin layer because if it's too thick, it will get really messy and will spread way too fast and you will have to keep starting over. After you apply your polish, you want to let it spread for a couple of seconds. And before you cure it, wipe the sides. starting with my chrome method first you want to apply your base color and after that apply some top coat and then buff your nails until the shine is gone after buffing you want to do your design with black polish and when you're done with your design you want to cure it for 30 seconds and then apply the chrome I've tried the matte top coat method but it never works for me I think it might be the matte top coat I'm using
After you're done applying the chrome powder, you want to do your 3D lines. When applying the 3D lines with the rhinestone glue, you want to use a liner brush since it will be the most easiest and I did two layers of the rhinestone glue. Thank you.
it for today's video. If you have any questions, you can always ask in the comments. And any nails you want me to try, let me know. Everything is also linked in the description. I really hope you enjoyed today's video.